Ooh. Good morning, a go goers. Um, so it's day seven of week seven. So yeah. it does feel like I've been doing this for more than seven weeks now. So we're three weeks complete on the army. No, five weeks complete. And five weeks of the army fitness program. And uh, embarrassingly, already, um, let me just get into some decent shade. Wow, it really rained yesterday and I'm just in sneakers. Right, so amazingly, I went for an extra run this morning and uh, seven weeks ago me would not believe that I voluntarily without any kind of military program went for a run that I didn't need to go for. Well, seven week ago me wouldn't have even considered doing the uh, army fitness course. It's not like it hasn't been lying around on the internet for years. So yeah, so I went for an extra run this morning. There's a phrase that I didn't think I'd ever say. Because um, a couple of weeks ago, I, f I didn't do as well as I would have wanted to on the mile and a half run. So today, instead of running cross country like you've seen me doing, and there should be some footage, um, I ran on the pavement. I did a big old circuit near my house and unfortunately it wasn't quite a mile and a half. I thought it might be, but it ended up by being 1.35 miles and I managed to do that in 30 minutes, sorry, 13 minutes, which means that uh, if I'd been really pushing myself and I wasn't, it was literally a gentle run around the block. I mean, I was sweating by the end of it. But uh, my personal best for a mile is, has been 10 minutes 30. And my jogging best on, the pa on pavement was 9.47. So that means per mile I'm 45 seconds faster on a pavement than I am on a towpath. So if... I had had you know the gumption to do an extra bit of running until I made it to the mile and a half point which I may well do next Sunday because Sunday seems to be a good day for doing a little bit of an extra run if I'd done that I might well have got in at around the 14 30 under certainly under 15 minutes because I only had a, under a third of a mile to do, so a third of five, a third, sorry, a sixth of a mile to do. So that's interesting. So I, could, I would have definitely been under 15 minutes. I think if I'd known I was at a mile, 1.35 miles, and I knew that I was within striking distance of getting the mile and a half in under, you know, well under 15 minutes, I think I'd have pushed myself. And come to think of it, when I was running previously, about five years ago, um, I managed to get it down to 12. So, pavement makes a difference. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I thought I'd come out for a little quick wander into the woods. And some quiet and get some more footage for you guys. So... Thank you very much. Uh, as of this morning, my weight is n when I weighed myself when I got up. So that's pre any food, pre run. I weighed in at 94.1 kilos using the scales. You know, they're the same scales in the same position on the floor that I used when I got myself uh, weighed at the very beginning of this at 100.2. So I have lost peoples um, about 6.1 kilos since I started this and I can feel it and people can see it like I've lost weight around my face 
my arm muscles, I've been putting on muscle, you know. So yeah, as far as physicality, um, as could have been easily predicted, if you'd sort of said, right, we're going to do this, am I going to lose weight? The answer would have been yes, but you know, six kilos or something like 12, 13 pounds. So 11, sorry, five kilos is 11 pounds. Uh, so that'd be 13 point three, 13 point three pounds. So that's essentially, I don't know, a six month old baby that I'm not carrying anymore or a very heavy newborn, like an unbelievably heavy newborn. So yeah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Ow. Ow. Well, that wasn't fun. <sighs> so this is why walking around in the muddy woods is a dangerous idea, not to be taken lightly. Because once the treads of your shoes get filled up, <clears throat> need to get back on the flat. Okay, so bear with me just a sec. Leave all that in. Uh, this is not a safe environment for trainers. Oh, okay. Let's stop pushing for exciting injuries. And this is why it's interesting. Whew, have I dislodged anything? Nope. Ah, really appreciating the microphone clips. So, <coughs> for the techies out there, I'm recording this at uh, 1080p, 25 frames a second. I'm using the external microphone, which is one of the reasons I picked this camera. Ah. So, yeah. And I've also got the voice recorder on just to give me a spare voice recording track. But yeah, this is the whole falling over in the woods thing. This is the clambering. Do not be afraid of discomfort. As Tolkien says in The Hobbit, not all adventures are pony rides in May sunshine. <sighs> so yeah, a little bit of a clamber and a fall over. Being a bit more ginger about how I traverse the woods today and wishing I changed into boots. <sighs> so yeah. So currently um, the uh Ooh. So I'm using the camera you guys bought me and I bought a few extra bits, a few extra little cables and stuff for the rig I'm hoping to build. And uh, yeah, there'll be a video on the new camera rig. I'm hoping it'll be pretty cool. <sighs> it might not be. <sighs> but at least, you know, that's the thing. If I'm being supported financially, I can try out bits of equipment in a way that I wouldn't be able to afford to otherwise. Oh, <sighs> nearly did it again. So yeah, oh, trying to provide you with some entertainment. Falling over is traditionally one of the things of slapstick. Oh. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, the camera's currently got the uh, gyro stabilization on. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So external microphone, gyro stabilization. I've got the defishing option on on the camera so we're getting a nice square image. Um, the other resolutions tend to give you a bit of a fisheye moment. Oh, I don't like this. Going uphill on the side of a cliff. Trainers were a bad idea. But I wanted to be able to just walk around and talk to myself. And the further you go into the woods, the more likely that is to happen. 
So yeah, so this is the second day I've been filming with my new camera. Um, I'm reserving judgment on the audio quality till I get back home because the last time, what was I doing last time? I think yesterday I was just wandering around in the rain and the audio quality, weirdly, would have been just about acceptable with the camera in its uh, waterproof case, which is interesting. So I might uh, include some camera samples. As I don't know, I don't know whether the people that watch this would be okay watching a video with slightly worse audio. But I'm gonna be doing some more interesting things in the woods. Um, one of the subscribers we've got, um, Loops Empire, suggested that to go with the fitness thing, some survival stuff. Now, I've covered a lot of that on um, Ranger's Tube. So if, you, if, you, if you're in the, the mood for more survivalist stuff, there's a, uh, a series that I shot about 15 years ago called Back of Beyond. Um, now I know that bushcraft technology and all the equipment that you can now buy has probably moved on a pace since then. I know my equipment certainly has. Um, but yeah. I'll be uh, doing some more of that. Maybe it's a Friday thing. Maybe after I've done my run, I can bring the camera up. And also by Friday, the uh, gimbal should be here. Which would be cool. So yeah. So I don't have any plans for Friday. It's a full day off. I may well go and search for a place where we can wild camp, where I can wild camp. And uh, an old friend of mine is coming wild camping in a few weeks. And we'll be in these woods, uh, just generally mucking around, setting stuff up and making s'mores on the fire. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the vid today. Yeah, I still can't believe I went for an extra run today, knowing that I've got one tomorrow. So please watch the videos all the way to the end. It changes the YouTube algorithm massively. If you like it, if you comment on it, if you subscribe, it all pushes things up. I don't really want to use artificial means, but if it's um, to push this channel, but if that's what it takes to uh, get it to as many people as possible, which I think would be a valuable thing, then it might be worth doing. I don't know. You be the judge. Does gaming YouTube entirely mean that... Uh, more people will get to it. Is, is, do the ends justify the means? There again, you know, if I wanted to game YouTube entirely, I'd make videos where you didn't learn how to do anything. You know, I'd rather have a couple of thousand subscribers that were felt empowered to change their lives as a result of watching this than five million subscribers that just watched me fall over in the woods from time to time. But you be the judge. You are, after all, an intelligent and self-discerning individual. So yeah, that's about all I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching. And do take care.